If you've been scrolling through your feed recently, you've probably noticed a wave of short videos combining animals in the most creative ways. It's like a trend that's everywhere. I stumbled across a channel doing exactly this, and the results were fascinating. These videos are getting millions of views in just hours. And guess what? Creating them is easier than you think. In fact, you can make your own in under 10 minutes. In today's video, I'm going to walk you through exactly how to do it from start to finish. So stay tuned, hit that like button, and subscribe for more awesome tutorials like these. First, we'll use ChatGPT to generate the image prompts. You want to create two images, one of the original animals facing each other, and the other showing the hybrid creature that combines both animals. To get started, open ChatGPT. In the text box, you'll need to type a clear request for the image you want. For the first image, let's say you want to create a scene with a gorilla and an eagle. You can type something like, create a prompt for an image of a gorilla and an eagle facing each other in an alpine forest. Once you hit enter, ChatGPT will provide you with a detailed image prompt. It might describe the colors, the setting, and the positions of the animals, giving you a clear idea of how they look and interact in the scene. Now, for the second image, we want to create a hybrid version of these two animals. For this type, create a prompt for an image of a hybrid between a gorilla and an eagle, using the same background as before. This is important because having a consistent background makes the video flow better, keeping the viewers engaged. ChatGPT will again provide a detailed description for this hybrid creature. You can always modify these prompts if you have specific ideas or features you want to include. Once you have both prompts ready, you're set to turn these ideas into stunning visuals. Next, we'll use Ideogram, a powerful AI tool, to turn those prompts into real images. This tool is user-friendly and designed to make image creation easy. Start by copying the first prompt you generated from ChatGPT. This prompt describes the scene with the original animals. Now, open Ideogram in your web browser. You'll see a straightforward interface that guides you through the image creation process. Once you're in Ideogram, Find the input box where you can paste your copied prompt. Before generating the image, it's important to select the right aspect ratio. Since we're creating a video that will be short and likely viewed on mobile devices, choose the 916 aspect ratio. This makes your image fit perfectly for platforms like YouTube Shorts, Instagram, or TikTok. In just a few moments, you'll see the first image. Once you're satisfied with the first image, it's time to create the second image for the hybrid creature. Repeat the same process and click Generate again. This time, the AI will create an image of a gorilla and an eagle hybrid, ensuring it shares the same alpine forest background as the original scene. Finally, don't forget to download both images once you're happy with them. Now comes the fun part, turning your images into a video. We're going to use a powerful AI tool called Kling AI. This tool is designed to make video creation easy and quick, allowing you to transform your images into engaging videos in just a few clicks. First, go to the Kling AI interface. You'll see various options, but we want to focus on AI videos. Click on this option to start. Next, switch to the Image to Video tab. This feature specifically allows you to create videos from images, which is exactly what we need for our project. Before we upload our images, we need to enable the Add End Frame option. This option adds a smooth transition to the end of your video, which can enhance the overall viewing experience. Now it's time to upload your two images. Place the original animal image on the left side and the hybrid image on the right side. This setup will help illustrate the transformation process clearly. In the prompt box, you can type a descriptive phrase to guide the AI on what you want the video to show. For example, type, two animals leap towards each other, colliding in midair. As they clash, they merge into a hybrid beast. This description helps the AI understand the action you want to capture and will influence how the video plays out. Kling AI offers two modes, standard and professional. For beginners, the standard mode is more than enough. After everything is set, hit the generate button. Keep in mind that this will cost 10 credits. If you don't have enough credits, you might need to purchase more or wait until you have sufficient balance. Once you hit generate, sit back for a moment. The AI will process your images and within minutes, your video will be ready. You'll see the animals merging into a single creature as if they're leaping toward each other. However, you might notice that the hybrid creature doesn't get enough screen time. Don't worry, we can easily fix this. To create a second video that focuses more on the hybrid, turn off the add end frame option. This allows for a different style of video. 
Now, remove the original animal image from the Upload section and upload just the hybrid image. This focuses the video entirely on the hybrid creature. In the prompt box for this video, describe the movement or action of the hybrid. Click Generate again to create this new video. If Kling AI is taking too long to generate the video, you can either upgrade to the paid version or use alternatives like Luma AI or Hyper AI. Both tools allow you to upload a first frame image and an end frame image which are essential features for creating these types of videos. First, search for Luma AI on Google and go to their website. Click Try Now and log in using your Google or Apple account. Once logged in, you'll see the option to upload images and text. Start by uploading the images of both animals separately. After that, you'll be able to upload the end frame image. Upload the hybrid image here. In the text box, add the same prompt we used for Kling AI, then click Generate. Within a few minutes, Luma AI will generate your video. Another alternative to Kling AI is Hyper AI. It's another great tool for creating short videos like this. Visit the Hyper AI website and log in with your Google account. On the dashboard, select Image to Video, upload your images, and click Create. In just a few minutes, you'll have your hybrid animal video ready. Now you have two videos, one showing the transformation of the animals into a hybrid and the other showcasing the hybrid in action. This combination keeps your content exciting and engaging for your audience. Now that we have our video clips, it's time to edit them together using CapCut. This is a free video editing tool that's super user-friendly, making it perfect for beginners. If you haven't already downloaded CapCut, head to their website or app store to get it. Once you open the app, you'll see a clean interface that's easy to navigate. First, let's import our video clips. You can do this by clicking on the Import button or dragging your clips directly onto the timeline. The timeline is where you arrange and edit your video, so think of it as your workspace. Now, arrange the clips in the order you want. Start with the first clip where the original animals meet, followed by the hybrid transformation, and then the solo shot of the hybrid. This order helps create a narrative flow that your viewers will enjoy. Next, let's keep things exciting. You might want to speed up the first part of the video where the animals meet. To do this, click on the clip, Look for a speed adjustment option and adjust the speed. Now let's add some smooth transitions between the clips. Transitions are effects that help one clip blend into another, creating a seamless viewing experience. Look for a transitions option in CapCut. You can choose from various effects, like fade or slide. Just drag your chosen transition between the clips on the timeline. Next, to make your video even more engaging, we'll add a voiceover using Eleven Labs. This tool allows you to convert text into speech, which is perfect for narrating your video. Go to the Eleven Labs website and click on text to speech. In the input box, type your lines, such as, let's see a gorilla plus an eagle. Now, choose a voice for your voiceover. For this example, I'm selecting Brian. He has a friendly tone that fits well with our content. After choosing the voice, click on the Generate button. This will create the audio file. After creating, download it. Once you've generated all your audio files, it's time to import them into CapCut. Click on the Import button again, select your audio files, and drag them into the timeline. You'll want to align the voiceover with the visuals so that they sync perfectly. This might take a little adjusting, but you can move the audio clips left or right until they match the right moments in your video. Finally, let's add some background music. Music can set the tone and make your content more enjoyable to watch. The most suitable background music for this type of content is the Montagem Choral Music Track. However, you can use YouTube's free music library or websites like Pixabay for royalty-free tracks. Once you've found a suitable track, download it and import it into CapCut. After adding the music to the timeline, Adjust the volume level so that it complements the voiceovers without overpowering them. You can also add animal sound effects to make the video more immersive. Simply find suitable animal sounds and sync them with the video to match the actions of the animals and the hybrid creature. This will make the video feel more dynamic and engaging for your audience. And that's it! With your clips arranged, voiceovers synced, and background music added, your video is turning into a captivating masterpiece. Pretty cool, right? In just a few steps, we've created a full hybrid animal video from start to finish. With a bit of creativity and these easy-to-use tools, you can start making your own viral videos in no time. If you enjoyed this tutorial, be sure to like, share, and subscribe for more. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.